Hello friends, Radhi Karavi Kumar here. So today we will see how we can make use of uh, cross join. Um, and uh, cross join is also called as Cartesian join. So I am going to make use of two tables. I am going to you know, uh, cross join those two tables. So I am going to say select star from employee detail. So this is my one of the table and another table is going to be my select star from department detail okay mm -hmm. so in cross join what happens is each and every row of the left table will match with every row of the right table that is this uh, this employee id 101 row is there no 101 scott germany this each row will um, join with the 101 mm, 101 102 103 104 each and every row of the right table so uh, you can see that there are um, four uh, uh, rows in um, employee detail table and uh, four rows in uh, department detail table so it will be four into four the the cross join it's just like a multiplication of the number of rows in the uh, em like the left table and number of the rows in the right table just say x into y that is we have four rows here four rows here so it will be four into four is sixteen we will get sixteen um, records so how we are going to get it as it is like select star from the table name detail cross join say department detail and here we are not going to give any where clause uh, oh it's not uh, aligned properly okay so how this can be you know sorted out to see you can see that my uh, you know rows are not aligned properly on like on my on my screen so what I'm going to do is set line 120 and I'm going to say set pages 120 most of the people will uh, you know will um, have this problem when they are like a beginner to this SQL plus this, this is how you need to just set the lines and pages to the value you want so now my result will be proper I guess yeah you can see that 16 rows are selected so what I said is the there were four rows on the employee table and um, four rows on the department table so each and every row of the employee table gets um, matched with each on every row in the uh, department table so 4 into 4 16 so if you have uh, some uh, five rows in uh, employee table and um, some 10 rows in uh, some some department table that will be like 5 into 10 so you will be getting 50 uh, rows as the result when you do this cross join so this is about the cross join uh, of um, you know join uh, using cross join between two tables so another um, this, this another small uh, thing is like see uh, whenever we are like um, running a query uh, we are not knowing how much time it is consuming so that uh, we need to set some variable called timing okay how you need to do that is just uh, say set timing okay before that let me show you the example like see when I say select star from employee you can see that um, the rows are getting this we are saying the 14 rows selected but we are not knowing how much uh, you know seconds or minutes usually it won't be minutes it will be seconds of uh, time it is taking um, to execute this query <coughs> so what we are going to do is we are going to set this variable that is set timing to on it will be off usually just say set timing on so it is on now now when i execute that query yeah you can see uh, it's showing zero zero seconds but anyways uh, when i you now use some other query like select uh, star from employee where um, employee number is equal to some seven seven eight eight yeah you can see some you no know, milliseconds of time this is our minutes seconds and this is milliseconds so it's taking some point zero one milliseconds so this is how um, if you want to like go off this timing then just say set timing off that's it so 
now uh, when you execute the query any query you won't get the timing thing so this is about the cross join and the, the timing variable how to set the timing variable so hope you have enjoyed my tutorial so please do subscribe and like my videos if any queries are there then let me know just you know uh, put down you know write the queries whatever whatever queries you are having just below this video and thank you for watching